We're asked if a P MOSFET with a W over L has this value and a VGS and a VDS value, what is the magnitude of the drain current in microamps? So what we're trying to find here is our drain current, right? That's gonna be our ID and we have an equation for that. And this is the notes linked below the like button. It's approximately page 81 where we have this. And so that means our units microamps is gonna be 10 to the negative six. This is equal to like one micro A right here. And it should be a 10 like that. Um, so now let's start looking at the problem. We have our ID, which we're going to use. And the important part of this problem, you can solve it if you understand this part, is that we have to find where it's valid for. We don't know if it's in triode or if it's in saturation. There's two different regions. And this, we can determine this if our, by looking at our VDS and comparing it to our VGS minus VTP value. Both of them are the absolute values. So if we were to look at this, and we will do it in black, our VGS right here is 1.17. That's the first value we're given. So we have 1.17 minus our VDS, or not our VDS, sorry, minus our VTP. And our VTP is right here. So we're gonna have minus a absolute value of negative 0.5. And then we're gonna compare this to a 0.20 because this is our VDS. So if we combine these two things together, we're gonna get about 1.12, or actually, wait, that's not 1.12 um, because we are subtracting the 17 and the five. So that's gonna be about 1.11 or 12. So we get 1.12 here. In any case, this is still gonna be greater than our 0.2 right here. So since the right side is greater than the left side, we just look at the notes and we see, well, that is what this triode is, right? Our VDS is less than our VGS minus VTP. Since this is the case, we are going to be in triode. Now, if we keep looking at this, we have this lambda here. And if we had a lambda value, we would need to actually scroll down and use a different set of notes. Um, and it's basically the same thing, it's just more accurate for when we have our lambda value. And it's gonna look like this. It's for P MOSFETs and saturation, we are gonna have our equation look like this. However, we don't have it in saturation because the lambda is equal to zero. We could still use this equation if we wanted to. Um, but we could just see that the lambda would zero everything out and we just multiply by one. So it's kind of useless to do so. So instead we're gonna scroll back up into the equation that we know is going to work for us perfectly and it is this one. So let's use our triode equation. When we're plugging in our values, we just gotta be careful. Our ID is equal to our K prime of P in this instance, we are gonna have a 40 times 10 to the negative six for our microamps. And in fact, we could just omit the 10 to the negative six uh, because we are gonna want that as our units anyways. So we could just have a 40 right here. And then we're gonna have our W over L. This is just given to us as 92.5. We have our VGS minus VTP. Our VGS is going to be a 1.17. And these are both in absolute values, so just remember that. This is absolute value. And actually, I'm going to do that in a different color just to emphasize that afterwards. We have our VDS right here. So this is going to be 0 0.20. And then this is being uh, multiplied by a VDS as well. Oh, wait, that should be VTP. So just pay attention to how you write this in um, because, again, it, it can mess you up if you write it in incorrectly. So we have these parentheses. And then outside of here, we have our VDS which is our 0 0.20, and then we are going to have minus 1 half, and then our VDS squared, which is 0 0.20 squared. And then this is in brackets here as well. And so remember, again, this has to be in absolute values, this is in absolute values, and then our 0 0.20 is in absolute values as well. The VDS right here doesn't matter because it's just gonna be squared, but that is how we would go about writing this problem out um, that's just about it. So we would plug this into a calculator and if we were to do so we would get the answer of about 421.8 and this is going to be in our microamps. So that's how we'd go about solving for this problem.